Justin. And I'm Jess, and this week we are someplace incredibly special. We're at one of the only and the best places on the planet to swim with manatees. We are two weeks into our epic eight month, 10,000 mile journey north from Key West, the southernmost place in the continental United States, up to Tuktoyaktuk, Canada, the furthest north you can drive in North America, and we can't wait to dive in. Get it? <laughs> I have loved manatees for years. They're just these goofy 1,200 pound sweet sea potatoes. So we've been planning this road trip, and to be honest, this is one of the experiences that I was most looking forward to. And today's journey starts dark and early, back at our trailer with a sneaky peanut butter thief. I caught you. You caught me eating peanut butter out of the jar? I swear that's the first time I've ever done that. He's a liar. Wow, it's been a long time since we've woken up this early. It has indeed. I usually like waking up at 8 in the morning, but today it is worth waking up at 5.30. Okay, I think we got everything we need. Let's hit the road. We're here. Nice spot of manatee. You think these will look cute on me? Yes, and then I'm absolutely gonna steal them. Jess and I were looking for a small group tour, so we booked Fun to Dive. They only take out groups of 11 or less and have over five star rating with over 1900 reviews. It's worth mentioning, they didn't sponsor this video and we paid for this tour with our own money. They were amazing and we couldn't recommend them more. If you were interested in joining this knowledgeable and eco-conscious tour operator, we'll link to them in the description below. Hold on one second, sorry. Gotta hack up my draws. No YouTube video would be complete without just hacking up my draws. Hitching up his draws. Okay. <laughs> if you want to have the best chance of seeing as many manatees as possible, I'd recommend booking the earliest tour that you can. We went on the 7 a.m. one. During this time, there's less people, less tours, less snorkelers, and therefore a better chance that the manatees won't get scared away. Luckily, we're visiting a couple weeks after the busy New Year holiday, and so there are only four other people on our tour. More importantly than the time of day is the time of year. If you want the best chance of seeing manatees, you'll want to come from November through March, with the best months being January and February. During the warmer months, manatees will spend most of their time out in the ocean, but when it gets colder outside, will come inland to the freshwater springs, like here at Crystal River, where the water stays 72 degrees year-round. Is that your warmy dance? <laughs> Toast of water. By looking at them, you might assume that they're very blubbery, but in fact, the opposite is true. They're quite lean with most of their body being composed of muscle and intestine. And in fact, they have a really hard time regulating their own body temperature. They're really not fat. They're just big boned. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're big intestined, really, is I think the problem. <laughs> big intestine? Yeah. yeah, that's my problem. <laughs> If the water drops below 68 degrees, the manatees can suffer from something called cold stress syndrome, which is kind of like hypothermia for humans and can kill them. That's why it's so important that Floridians like us advocate for the sustainable use of fresh water from underground aquifers. While the springs are nice and warm for the manatees, they're not so warm for humans. So the first thing you're gonna do on your tour is put on a wetsuit <laughs> to keep you nice and toasty. Can you help me? Yeah. Yeah, look like a pro. How do I look? Good, you look like a snorkeling superhero. Look at us! You know it's gonna be a good day when you're wearing a wetsuit before 7 a.m. After we wetsuited up, we were taken to a marina and then took a 15 minute pontoon boat ride out to Kings Bay, a manatee hotspot. about to get in the water. It's about 55 degrees out and it's actually been pretty cold the last few days. So this is supposed to be a great day to see manatees. It's also supposed to be 72 degrees in the water. So it's actually gonna be warmer in there and I'm ready to get in. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> ready to go. We were given pool noodles to help us float. We climbed into the water as quietly as we possibly can. Then you just doggy paddle out and find some manatees. Thank you. 
There are two zones of buoys in place, including a no-boat zone where only snorkelers are allowed to swim. Beyond that, there's a manatee sanctuary zone where only manatees are allowed to swim, but fortunately for us, many of them had no issues coming over to say hi. Oh my god, the music is just so sweet. Oh. <laughs> Did you get a kiss or a red Yes, kiss. <laughs> that was so much fun. All right. So who wants a hot shot? <laughs> Time to warm up. <laughs> I'm trying to hold the camera in my phone. I'm so cold, I'm like shaking. I'm not shaking from excitement. <laughs> Depending on the time of year and the temperature of the water, you'll get to spend about 90 minutes out. And if you're lucky like us, you'll get to swim with hundreds of manatees. Well, we saw tons of manatees. Up until the 1970s, their populations dwindled due to lack of regulations and boat propeller strikes. There was only a few hundred left, basically what we saw in this spring today. While the manatees are still absolutely experiencing human-related threats, Thankfully, their population has rebounded to over 7,500 right here in Florida. We are so grateful for eco-conscious tour operators like fun to dive that advocate for the responsible observation of manatees and educate their guests on the best ways to allow manatees to interact with humans on their own terms. This was absolutely the bucket list worthy experience we were hoping for. Totally. In fact, while we were coming back to the dock, we even got to see a pot of dolphins <laughs> jumping out of the water. If you want to once in a lifetime experience, I could not recommend this tour enough. Don't forget to check the description below for our favorite manatee tours in Crystal River. Also, be sure to like this video and subscribe to follow our adventures north to the Arctic Circle. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>